Ja, vi står här med Johannes Hydner som är ansvarig för internationella frågor inom FP. And uh, thank you for being in Express and uh, Live. Yeah. Tell me, how would you describe this result? Well, for us it's uh, a little disappointing because we have hoped to win. Uh, on the other hand, for the party it's still a historic uh, achievement to be close to 50% with the candidate we, we brought forward. Uh, why we had a little less votes than in the first uh, run, I can't yet explain. It's very difficult to say, but it's still a good resu result. It's disappointing because we didn't win. What do you think changed uh, the minds in the, those possible voters for you? Very difficult to say, very difficult to say. You will get a lot of analysis from the political scientists and the statistics and sociologic people in the, last, in the next days, but this will just be guessing and uh, theories no one can really say because we can't go into the brains of each voter. No. What does your gut say? My gut say maybe. I say maybe the negative campaigning against Hoffer in the last two, three weeks, four weeks had some effect. It could be because we had to win people from the center, people that never voted for FPÖ or a FPÖ candidate, people that also never voted for a green candidate. And it may be that these people, they got a little scared listening to all the campaigning about uh, exit, that means Austria leaving the, U the European Union, about Hofer thinking about uh, reinstating death penalty in Austria and all these things they brought uh, forward. Eight There's to nine years old Lady Gertrude, for example, viewed three million times on, uh, on YouTube. This Gertrude, the, pan the pensioner Gertrude. Yeah, things like that. That could have, that could have exercised some influence. Uh, if, you are, if you have someone who is not really decided and convinced because he has no candidate from his party, and he gets a lot of negative feedback about one candidate that can cause a feeling of fear in his subconsciousness like Gertrude, someone linking your candidate to Holocaust or to death penalty or to international isolation it may have some influence because in springtime in the first round we didn't have such a negative campaigning and such a um, uh, a fear campaigning as we saw it now. So maybe Hofer, he brought it up himself, didn't he? About the Sorry? death about the death penalty. Hofer brought it up himself. No, not at all. He's a staunch staunchly against the death penalty. It's only the question uh, should the people be allowed to hold a referendum? And Hofer says yes, because the people is the supreme master of our politics. That's clause one of our constitution. All uh, all decision making comes from the people. All power comes from people, and the people have the right to decide in a referendum. And if there would be enough support in the people, for example, to say, okay, we want now a change in the European um, uh, in the European uh, Memorandum Association, otherwise we leave, yeah, then it's very difficult to say no, you're not allowed to. And if the people would come and say we want a monarchy, and there are 500,000 signatories for such a referendum. It's difficult to say, maybe you want, but us as the enlightened leaders, we decide what is good for you and what you are allowed to decide about. It's a fundamental question of handing the power to the people and doing what they really want, or making a sort of a controlled democracy where you tell the people which subject they are allowed to decide about. And this is the issue. And he said, someone, we can't even exclude a referendum about death penalty if there is a strong urge. I'm strictly against. And then they made a uh, Hoffa look like someone going for death penalty. So what will you do yourself now this evening? No, I will have a few glasses of wine because the campaign is over. We can relax now. Even if you don't win, it's over and you can relax. Yeah. Next time is 2018. Uh, Next time, sorry. Next time will be elections 2018. Yes, that should be latest in uh, September, October 2018, maybe earlier. We'll see. We are ready for elections, so the, the, all the campaign around uh, Hofer and Van der Bellen was excellent for us to present our point of views, to present our parties, so we are well equipped now for a general election. So we have no issue going into elections, be it uh, January this year, be it January next year, being summer. For us it's now a good uh, jumping board for general elections.